what is going on everybody welcome to nba 2k 23 predicts the 2023 playoffs as i'm recording this the Timberwolves are up 33 points against the okc thunder so they're going to lock up that eight seed my miami heat beat the bulls and a way too close game for me to lock up the eight seed just to get swept by the books we all know what's going to happen but here we are this is what the current playoff bracket is looking like um, I have a playoff prediction video that dropped. It did very well, so I recommend you go watch that. Link will be in the description. We're going to go one by one, and if we get any game sevens, I'll let you guys know. First, starting with what, whatever game. Uh, I shouldn't have did it. Um, okay, hold on. This is all going to be, oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The just round, the whole round thing went terrible. Can I do the automation? Can I, can I go into automation? No, I can't do that. I have to deal with that. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't have picked every team then. Anyways, uh, so far, this is what it's looking like. I don't think we're going to get any 3-0. Uh, always have it adjust. Always have it adjust. Wow, this is annoying. Uh, Jesus. The Brooklyn Nets are the first team to get swept by the 76ers. Uh, I could see that happening in real life. Mikhail Bridges dropped 23 points in his final game. Uh, yeah, Embiid and Harden. Let's look at the stats in that series because, you know, I got I to gotta make this... Uh, video uh 10 minutes you know uh so if we go to the sixers uh the first round and beat average 34 points 15 rebounds five assists and three and a half blocks that's insane harden dropped 28 and 14 tyrese dropped 20 Tobias harris got hurt he dropped 15 injuries are on by the way uh and for the brooklyn nets let's see what they did uh they why why do they have the non-playoff teams in here uh, Spencer Dinwiddie was the leading scorer with 23. Cam Thomas had 19. Mikhail Bridges. So it was an all-around scoring effort. Uh, oh, Ben Simmons was out. That's my bad. They got swept anyways. Uh, Nick Claxton. Huge disappointment in that series. Nick Claxton and um, Dorian Finney-Smith. So the Nets are the first team to get swept. And it's looking like the Cavs and the Lakers might be the next two teams to get swept. The Heat are up 2-1 against Milwaukee. The Timberwolves are up 2-1 on the Nuggets, they're starting Chris Braun, so Michael Porter Jr. got hurt. Uh, and then the Warriors are up 2-1 on the Kings. Everyone's expecting the Warriors to win that series, so let's simulate. And the New York Knicks have been eliminated. They have been swept by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Randall, terrible outing. He had a very bad back-to-back -back bad playoff performances from Julius Randall. 42% from the field, 17% from three. That's bad. Quickly performed terrible. Isaiah Hartenstein was probably their only bright spot, I'd imagine. Yeah. It looks like he was their only bright spot was um, Isaiah Hartenstein. Jalen Brunson averaged 13 points in the series. Yeah, no, the, the Knicks, they got just destroyed. Donovan Mitchell dropped 42 points on 70% shooting from the field, 65 from three. And didn't miss a free throw. Uh, who else are we looking at? The Grizzlies look like they are going to get swept. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the Lakers. And they do not. So, Boston's up 3-1. The Grizzlies are up 3-1. Golden State's up 3-1. Phoenix, LA is tied. And Miami and Milwaukee is tied. Let's see who gets eliminated first. It will be the Sacramento Kings and the Lakers both get eliminated in round one. The Lakers get eliminated in five. Here are the stats for the Lakers in round one. LeBron averaged 31, near triple-double. AD just didn't give him enough. Only averaged 18 points a game. They're not winning a playoff series. Lonnie Walker dropped 16. Uh, but yeah, you're not winning a playoff series if AD's only giving you 18. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. They don't have the sporting cast. And the Sacramento Kings, Sabonis, man, had his way. 22 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists. This is something I can see happening in real life. Uh, Sabonis just absolutely dominating the Warriors. But... Wasn't enough to get it done. De'Aaron Fox only averaged 17. Like I said, with the same thing with the Lakers, that's just not enough. Even though we had uh, Keegan Murray, the rookie, dropping 17, just not enough from your supporting cast. Uh, Terrence Davis got 21 minutes a game and had shot 33% from the field. Not good enough. The Clippers are up 3-2 on the Suns. Uh, the, both won eight seeds. The Heat are up 3-2. The Celtics are up 3-2. Can the Heat close it out in six? The Atlanta Hawks get eliminated. The one-seeded Milwaukee Bucks get taken out by the eight-seeded Miami Heat in six games. Boy, what I would do for that to happen in real life. 
26 points from Hero, 25 from Butler, and 22 from Lowry. That's in... Wow. Okay, and Giannis only held... He fouled out. So did Drogic. In only 12 minutes, Drogic fouled out. He had 15 points, so he didn't miss a shot. For the Bucks, Giannis ended up having a good series, averaging 24, 11, and 7 on great splits, not from 3 or the free throw. Uh, Chris Middleton, like I said, for all the other teams, that's just not enough. 16 points. It's not going to do it. Brooke Lopez shot 41% from the field as a center and 30% from 3. Bam had this man locked down then. Uh, Drew Holiday got locked down by 37-year-old Kyle Lowry. Bobby Porter shot 38%. Grayson Allen shot 35%. That's, that's not going to get you wins. It was just Giannis backpacking. And Drew Holiday ended up playing more minutes than Giannis, probably got probably because he got fouled out. That makes a lot of sense. And the next team that got eliminated was the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young, 25 points, 12 assists. But this has been a trend of Trey Young besides that one playoff run to the conference finals. He got clamped up, and he was not shooting well. John Collins had a solid series. Shante Murray did not, uh, 45% from the field. Um, Bogdan. Shot pretty well. He shot 46% from three. That's really well. Uh, yeah, Sadiq Bay shooting 32%, 24% from the bench. Not going to get you wins. All right, so the eighth seed moves on in the east. Uh, the 2 3 matchup, that makes sense. Uh, so we have a game seven here between the Suns and the Clippers. Uh, and the Nuggets take out the Timberwolves. Our first game seven, Suns, Clippers. A lot of people think the Suns are just going to run away with the series. I think the. Um, the Clippers will give them a fight. A lot of people are saying sweep. And the Clippers, we have a close one. Four-point game, five-point game, three-point game with 21 seconds left. I'm not sure who has the ball, but I am going to jump in. The Clippers do have the ball. And screw it, we're going to play on. We're going to watch it on this camera angle because I don't feel like changing it. Clippers, Eric Gordon at point guard with the ball. Down by three, 15 seconds left. They're going to run out the clock. This camera, he's just going to pull it, and it's off, and that is going to do it. The Phoenix Suns are going to move on. Two, round two in game seven after an Eric Gordon miss. The Suns end up winning by five. KD, 30 point. Devin Booker, 26. Good game all around. And Paul George came back when he wasn't supposed to. Gotcha. Uh, gave him 32 points. Kawhi struggled. Westbrook and Marcus Morris all struggled. And the Clippers have been eliminated. And that sets up round two. We have the Denver Nuggets versus the Suns. Memphis versus Golden State. Boston versus Philly and Cleveland versus Miami. Miami is the only underdog, quote unquote. The Warriors are technically an underdog to the sixth seed, uh, but they're the reigning champions. Let's see how this turns out. All right, we have some interesting things. The Miami Heat are up 3 1 against the Cavaliers. The Sixers are about to take out the reigning Eastern Conference champion Celtics. And the Warriors are about to take out the Grizzlies for a second year in a row. Uh, the only competitive series is that Nuggets series. Let's see. Can the Heat close them out? Marcus Smart gets hurt. No. Both, all three of those series end up going to the team down 3-1. The Grizzlies have been eliminated. The Celtics have been eliminated. The Suns have been eliminated. And the Cleveland Cavaliers have been eliminated. All series going to six games. Three of those teams were up 3-1 besides the Nuggets. That series was tied 2-2. And the Nuggets ended up winning two in a row. So that leaves the Nuggets Warriors... And Philly, Miami, the eight-seeded Heat, my favorite team, making it all the way to the conference finals according to 2K. And for the second round, D-Book ended up averaging 28 points a game on pretty good splits. Um, Kevin Durant only averaged 21. He did not shoot Kevin Durant numbers. Like for any any other player in the league mainly, those are great numbers. 48% from the field, 35 from three. Those are solid numbers. For Kevin Durant, that's bad. Chris Paul, 13 points, 10 assists. He averaged five turnovers. That's that's bad. DeAndre Ayton shot 37% from 37. You let Jokic hold you to 37% Ayton, and you don't take threes. That ain't good. A campaign shot 44%. That's actually not that bad. Next team to get eliminated on the West was the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. John Morant tried his best, 34 points, 8 rebounds, 10 assists. Did average four turnovers a game, but shot 52% of the field, but only 30% from three. Desmond Bain had a good series, averaging 21 on 58-53 splits. Uh, Jaron Jackson, another another big man, only averaging 42%. Six for 14, That you, you're not going to get wins. Dylan Brooks got shut the hell off, thankfully. 34% from the field, and the Grizzlies got eliminated in six. And to the East, the Celtics 
get eliminated by the Sixers. Tatum and Brown did what they needed to do. They averaged 60 points, uh, 13 rebounds, and 7 assists together combined. On good, on amazing splits, actually. 60 and 54 and 56 and 44. Their supporting cast sale, the Malcolm Brogdon, 11 points a game on 32% from three. Uh, Al Horford played so- actually very solid, to be honest. 11 points, six rebounds, five assists, and a block on those splits. Great. But Marcus Smart sold, as usual. Mike Muscala, uh, Derek White, just not enough. And the last team to get eliminated was the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Donovan Mitchell averaged 35 points in that series on 50 50 splits. Garland averaged 20 and 10 on great splits, too, besides from three. And Jared Allen cooked Bam Adebayo, not going to lie, 68% from the field. But Karis LeVert, the starting, oh no, the backup small forward, 38% from the field, 41% for Evan Mobley. He struggled. And that leaves us with Denver, Golden State, Philly, Miami. Let's see how this goes. Simulate through all these games. The Heat are up 2-1, is now tied 2-2. The Sixers are up 3-2. And the Miami Heat Cinderella story ends in the conference finals. They lose in six to the Sixers. The Warriors are up 3-2. And they are going to take out the Nuggets. Steph Curry is your Western Conference MVP. And Joel Embiid is your Eastern Conference. Both series end in six. And that leaves us with the Warriors, Sixers, NBA Finals. Sixers take game one. Game two. Game three goes to the Warriors. And the Sixers are going to win in five games against the Golden State Warriors. That is NBA 2K23's NBA playoff predictions for the year 2023 let me know what you all think i think it's highly unrealistic i do not see the miami heat making this far they're not making it out of the first round let's be honest uh i think the kings are going to beat the warriors in real life uh but for the most part yeah it's actually it wasn't actually that bad it wasn't that bad anyways that's gonna be for me